I think we've come to the point where we must recognize that there, there is that first deficiency that we are entirely reliant on the goodwill of Canada. And secondly, that as a set of independent countries which have now reached a stage of significant economic maturity, that perhaps the time has come for us to have a mature dialogue with Canada as we negotiate, as we have done with other parts of the world, a trade agreement that reflects our, our interests um, and our strengths uh, competitively. Those interests and strengths really are trade and services. That is the, the strength of the Eastern Caribbean, that is the strength of Barbados. The Carib Can Agreement does not contemplate trade and services. There is a need for us to correct, in Barbados at least, what is a 40 million dollar United States currency trade imbalance between ourselves and Canada recorded every year on average. It has gotten sometimes as high as 60 million, sometimes it has dropped just below the 40. But the point is, we have a significant trade imbalance which we have to correct and we can only really correct it if we are able to access Canada's market for the ability that we have to export our services there. This is why Canada joins our Caribbean leaders in advocating for a multi-dimensional vulnerability index. Canada has allocated 40% of our IMF special drawing rights to low-income and vulnerable countries, including SIDS. We gave $1 billion, and yes, I said billion, to the IMF's Poverty Reduction and Growth Trust, and $2.4 billion to the IMF Resilience and Sustainability Trust, and Barbados has benefited from this trust. 